Hey guys, Richard Oldner here and welcome to the channel. What's the difference between a Series 2 L67 3800 supercharged V6 and a Series 3 L32 supercharged 3800 V6? One of them is rated 20 horsepower better, but what do they do on the dyno? In this video, we're going to take a look at a comparison between two different supercharged 3800 v6 motors of course i'm talking about the l67 series 2 motor and the l32 series 3 motor we're going to try to figure out why one motor rated at 20 horsepower better than the other actually made less power on the dyno now we're going to take a look at a comparison between the series 2 l67 3800 and the series 3 l32 3800 both with the m90 supercharger and i get to run both of them with a variety of different modifications we can kind of compare them step by step along the way and we're going to show you one what the comparison is between the two versions of the motor and two really and this is more likely this is a comparison between two different motors that we got from the wrecking yard it just goes to show you that every motor that you get from the wrecking yard is not perfect and this test is going to illustrate exactly that so this is our l67 it was a 3800 series 2 with the m90 supercharger with the factory mass air and throttle body assembly although we didn't use the mass air we ran all of these tests with speed density and we ran it with the holly hp management system this motor was equipped actually with l32 cylinder heads but in measuring the valves on both the l32 and l67 heads i had they were identical obviously this l67 had the m90 and matching intake manifold and as i said mass air meter and stuff uh stock bottom end we did not change the ring gap this one was run with long tube headers and before you jump up and down and go, oh, well, the headers make the big power. They don't. I've tested them three different times now, both on an L67 10 or 20 years ago on the L67 here and on, on, on the L32. And every time that I've tested it, they've shown one or two horsepower change. Now, I'm going to retest the headers again at a much higher power level now that we're making over 400 horsepower. And you guys should have seen those videos out already after we put the camshaft and stuff in there. I'm going to redo the header test at a much higher power level. But basically, at these lower power levels, the headers are worth nothing. <laughs> so we ran the L67 and with the stock pulley, 3.8 inch pulley, and so equipped, the L67 produced 282 horsepower and 291 foot-pounds of torque. It had a peak boost of 8.1 or 8.2 pounds. And oddly enough, both the L67 with the uh, L67 3.8 inch blower pulley and M90 blower, both of these blowers and both these combinations made almost exactly the same peak boost level, 8.1 and 8.2. That's a variation that, you know, they just could be run to run basically. But here's what happened when we ran our L32. Same cylinder heads, just the uh, Gen 5 blower, Gen 5 bigger throttle body, and mass air meter, obviously. We converted it to um, manual throttle body mode. And the L32 is in red. And uh, oddly enough, despite the fact that it's rated 20 horsepower higher than the L67, it made less power. And I think that the reason for this is, uh, if we take a look at the short block on the L32, it had um, the walls on it, at least on one of the cylinders, was, was fairly scuffed. Now, we did a cranking compression test and a leak down test, and it all seemed to be okay. And I even scuffed up the walls a little bit, which I have done on a number of junkyard motors, and it seems to work fairly well and seal pretty well. But that's the only thing that I found on the L32 that wasn't working the way that it should. Now, this motor, after we ran it with a compound turbo blower and high boost and all kinds of stuff, uh, eventually let go. It, it damaged a, a bearing. So the other option, and we could think about this, is possibly that motor was already getting bad. And that's the important thing here. But I wanted to show you that at all of these different power levels, we see a similar uh, difference in power out of all these modifications. And it kind of stayed consistently you know, near where it was. So now let's take a look at what happened. This was run on 91 octane. And, and interestingly enough, the L32, we ran a couple, we tried a couple of more degrees timing on the L32 than we did on the L67. And despite that, the L67 still made more power. So now let's take a look at what happened when we stepped up to E85. 
So with both of the L67 and the L32, we ended up stepping up from the pump gas, which we ran on the last test, up to E85. And here's what happened. We ran them both with a stock pulley, you know, stock boost level right at about 8.1 or 8.2 pounds. But we ran it with E85 and we were able to turn the timing up. Now we did turn the timing up by another degree or two more, or we tried another degree or two more on the L32. Because I was thinking that it just didn't seem like it was making the power that it should have based on its rated power output. But this is our L67. It made 295 horsepower and 304 foot-pounds. And here it is in comparison to the L32. The L32 made less power, 291 horsepower and only 293 foot-pounds. So it was, down, it was down as much as 10 horsepower and over 10 foot-pounds of torque. At the top, it was more like five. I kind of attribute that maybe a little bit to the added timing that we tried on the um, on the L32. And also we tried an air intake on the L32, which I did ended up not putting on the um, on the L67. Different, uh, different size throttle opening and stuff on those also. But the thing is that the air intake seemed like on the L32, it didn't make a big difference. It was a couple, maybe, um, but but maybe a more dedicated effort on the L67. But regardless, we're, what we're seeing here is the L67 is continuing to make more power than the L32. It did it on 91, and it did it on uh, E85 as well. So now let's take a look at what happened when we made some, you know, some bigger modifications. So let's go ahead and put a 3.2-inch blower pulley on here and see what happens. So this is an interesting test, and this is after we modified the motors. Uh, we still have the stock camshaft in it, and they both have the same cylinder head on it. They both had the L32 cylinder heads on it. In fact, they both had the same cylinder head. They had both had the same intake manifold. They both had the same blower, because we ran the same blower, which was a Gen 5 supercharger with the throttle body and the 3.2 inch pulley. So they basically had the same top ends. The only thing that was different on both of these motors was basically the bottom end. The camshaft, I'm assuming that the L32 and the L67 camshafts are the same. I think that they are. So different bottom ends, and one, as I mentioned, eh, might have had a cylinder that was a little scuffed up. So I wondered if that's the power or if the bearings were going away. But it's an interesting test. We ran the 3.2-inch blower pulley, and they, these were producing over 14 pounds of boost on both of these combinations at 6,000 RPM. And run on our L67 with that... Uh, Gen 5 blower, the 3.2 inch pulley, the Gen 5 intake manifold, because you have to run that with a Gen 5 blower, and the um, Gen 5 throttle body mass air assembly. It made 352 horsepower and 371 foot-pounds of torque. And here's what happened when we ran the L32 with the same blower assembly, same intake manifold. So you make quite a bit less. Again, we're looking at about, uh, so it went from 340 to 351, so 10, 11 pounds. Uh, peak torque was uh, 371 versus 359. So again, we're looking at a 10, 11 foot-pounds of torque. So that number seems to be kind of staying consistent no matter what kind of modifications we put on here. So it seems like it's just starting out at 10 better, and it always wants to be 10 better no matter what we do. And in this case, we put the, you know, we put the same blower on them. We didn't even go with the earlier L67 blower, which probably would have made a difference. I'm going to be running that test later on. We'll do a direct comparison by doing the, the Gen 5 blower upgrade along with the intake manifold and the throttle body assembly. So it'd be interesting. And we might try to do that at different boost levels too, because at a stock boost level, you'll get a little bit. But if you if you did that blower upgrade at a higher boost level, chances are you probably would get more because of the bigger inlet and stuff. But now let's take a look and see what happens when we added a camshaft. So the final test is a comparison after we had installed the Gen 5 supercharger and the 3.2 inch pulley assembly on both of the motors. And then we did a cam swap. Now we put exactly the same camshaft. In fact, we pulled it out of the L32 and put it in the L67. We did a mild comp cam, which was 510 lift. It was 210, 220 at 50 and 115 degree lobe separation angle. And so we upgraded the factory cam to that comp cam on both of these combinations and run on the L67, the cam combination with the 3.2 inch pulley, which by the way, you can take a look at that video, it's up. You can see how much the boost dropped when we put the cam in because we made more power at a lower boost, which is always good. So with the camshaft, we made 395 horsepower 
peak torque was 377 foot pounds and here's what happened uh, when we ran the same combination on the L32 quite a bit less power 381 or 82 horsepower interesting thing you might be looking at this below 4500 and saying yeah but Richard they made the same torque down below that they did uh, because we had a lot less timing in the L67. The reason for that is because I put a much more conservative tune on this thing. I wanted this motor to last and last and last. On the L32, I actually ran as much as 21 degrees of timing down low here, and we were only at about 17 from 25 to 35, and then we went up a little bit more in the middle, and then 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 the peak out at the peak boost in RPM is where we had maximum timing of about 21 or 22 degrees on these. And you can see, you know, as we went up in power potential and boost, uh, the well, we actually went down in boost because of the camshaft, but as we went up in power potential, there was a slight increase in the difference between the power outputs of both motors. Um, and I think it just goes to show you that when we pick the one that we pick from the wrecking yard, you know, you don't always get the best one in the wrecking yard. And sometimes it's luck of the draw, which is a good idea. It's always a good idea to, you know, spin the motor and, and check them over as much as you can. In this particular case, we probably wouldn't have caught this until we, after we disassembled the thing because we didn't know about the cylinder wall until looking in there. We wouldn't ever go in there with a bore scope once we're at the wrecking yard. We just spin them, and if they spin, they win. And sometimes <laughs> some win a little more than others. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, this is the time in the video where I ask you what we learned, and actually, it's fairly obvious. If you go to the wrecking yard and make a choice, sometimes you make a good choice, sometimes you don't get quite as good a choice, and that's actually what happened in our 3800 stuff. We didn't really get a good version of the L32, and subsequently, because it was down on probably compression and sealing and or other things, it didn't make as much power as the L67. That's not really my question for today. My question for today is this. If our L67, especially when it was stock, with a stock blower on there, an intake manifold and mass air meter, made more power than the L32, what would happen if we had a good running L32? Would it make even more power? And the reason I ask this is because this, I know that it was rated more, it has a better blower, it has a better intake manifold, it has a big, better inlet, but when we eventually ran the L67 bottom end with the L32 heads, intake, blower, a 3.2 inch blower pulley, and the mass air throttle body assembly, isn't it essentially an L32 already? Or do you think a really good running L32 would make even more power with that same stuff? Let me know in the comments. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff. More testing coming up.